see what's down this way. Okay, nothing. Oh, I can't turn the camera here. Alright. Let's fight this guy, and I guess that's the chest that we need to get behind him. So that's the treasure chest we're after, huh? If we've made it this far, the rest is going to be a piece of cake. Seems like we've got a little breathing room at least. Let's pay close attention to our battle order this time. There should be a number of ways to get more mileage out of our actions. During battle, there are several bonuses which can be allotted to turns. Turn bonuses have the same effect regardless of whether they are allotted to an ally or a foe. Using S breaks to ignore the battle order makes it easy to jump in and strip an enemy from their turn bonus. Battle order bonus. These icons indicate the bonus allotted to the battle order. If a bonus icon appears next to a character's icon, they will receive that bonus. The heart heals HP, the rock thing synth up, etc. Indicate the effects of each icon. Alright, and we have both uh, moth clusters and dirty rats. So let's start beating some shit up. That moth just got synth up. I don't really know how that would help him, but whatever. Uh oh. I need some health. Let's use an item that will give you the tear bomb. And I don't need the HP because I just killed myself. Yeah, that takes care of you. We have to get magic on. And we'll get out our. Let's try the Aqua Bleed this time. And we'll have to use Soul Blur. We don't really need Clock Up right now. In fact, I'm not sure if we'll actually use it at all. It's a one-hit wonder, and there's Aqua Bleed. That guy's just hanging around over there. I'm going to use parts on him, too. I mean, why try? He's obviously going to take more than one turn to get over to him. So we'll just shoot him with some magic. Stone Hammer. Boom. That takes care of you. Piece of oh my god, a juicy bone, or create a foreign again. Alright, then let's get what's in this chest. Found small box. Hmm, that's weird. There's a couple of boxes inside. The treasure chest. The fact that there's not just one, but two is kind of interesting too. Wonder what's inside. Remember, Stella, our mission is to search and retrieve only. I'm pretty sure looking inside these boxes doesn't fall under our mission objective. Fair enough, I'm all, Joshua. This has nothing to do with our mission. It's what I like to call good, honest curiosity. You know, we're the ones down here. We can get away with a teensy weensy peek, right? If you feel like funking today's test, then by all means, be my guest. Did you just say the F word? Yep. Opening one of those boxes could result in an automatic fail for the both of us. If this were a real job, the contents of those boxes would belong to the client. And as long as they were nothing illegal, we would have no right to open them. I know you're right, Joshua, but I just can't help myself. If you absolutely have to know what's inside, why not ask Miss Shira when we get back? But for now, we need to focus on getting out of here. Alright, alright. By looking inside this chest again, you flunk. Just kidding. Nah. Alright, so let's hurry on. Zip on out of here. Hit the recovery station, which is not here. It's in the next outlet. We'll hit the recovery station real quick, and then we will go 
That'll conclude our test, I think. Alright. Let's head up. Good work, you two. As a rule of training, I'm going to need to confirm the items in your possession. Hand it over to small boxes. Yep. They're the real deal, alright. I don't see any evidence of tampering either. That was a close one. I figured she would try and set us up like that. Congratulations to the both of you. You have successfully passed your qualification test. You didn't really think something that simple would be a problem for us, did you? So, Ashira, uh, what's in those boxes you had us get? That's for me to know and for you to find out after your training is finished. That's enough chit chat for now, so let's get back to work. You two still have some things left to do. Seriously? But didn't you just say that we passed the test? You still have to learn about how to report the results of your work. I'm aware that you're both tired, but this is no time to shirk your duties. Let's get back to the guild. When is this day going to be over? Oh well, no sense of giving up when the finish line is in sight. Agreed, it seems like we're within reaching distance of our goal. Your final training is now to report to the guild. Whenever you finish a job, it is your duty to report the results of your work to the guild. Reporting how you resolved the situation and the steps you took to get there are all part of your job as a bracer. You can report your results to the front desk in each guild branch. And as you already know by now, Aina is in charge here at the Roland branch. In addition, this is where you will be paid for your work. I look forward to seeing great things from the both of you. Now that we're done here, why don't you both go ahead and report the results of today's training. Upon approaching the counter, a talk mark will appear. Pressing the OK button will display a list of options. Select report to report to the guild. All right, let's report to our results. Let's talk first. If you pass your qualification exam, then there's one thing left to do. When you want to report that you finished the job, please select the report option. All right, report. All right, we report our job. Good job. Our junior bracer, ninth class. Good job, you two. It seems like you were able to complete your objective without running into any major problems. Another thing to take note of is that depending on how you handle a job, you may see an increase or decrease in the amount of pay you receive. When you report the results of your work to the guild, pay in the form of Mira isn't the only thing you will receive. You'll also accumulate points which are known as BP Bracer Points, BPR, and indication of your achievements as a bracer. When these points exceed a certain value, you will advance in rank as a bracer and be awarded with a piece of special equipment by the guild. The ranks of a junior bracer start at 9 and go all the way up to 1. Please set your sights on making first rank and work hard. The amount of Mira and BP you receive will also be recorded in your bracer notebooks, so please have a look sometime later on. All that's left to do now is finalize your training. Let's head back upstairs, shall we? I'll talk to you later, Aina, and sorry about putting more work on your plate today than usual. Don't worry about it. Training new bracers is important for the future of the guild. I fully intend to work these two to the bone in any case. To the bone? And knowing Shira, it involves the whip. Let me say it again. Good work, you two. You have now officially completed the entire training course. From now on, you will be learning from your own real-world experience. Well then, Charizard holds out two small boxes. Aren't those boxes the ones? In answer to your questions, yes. These are the boxes you retrieved during today's test. You seem awfully curious to find out what's inside, Estelle. Are you saying that it's okay if we open them? That's right. Why don't the both of you have a look and see what's inside? Sweet. Alright, let's have a look. Estelle and Joshua open the boxes. Receive Junior Bracer Emblem. 
Miss Crest is. So does this mean that we're... Ahem. Estelle Bright, Joshua Bright, beginning this day at 1500 hours, you are both hereby appointed as junior bracers within the Bracer Guild. From here on, you will work as members of the Bracers Guild to support the livelihood of those around you, defend peace, and uphold justice. Congratulations, you two, and welcome into the fold. Did you hear that, Joshua? We become members of the Bracers Guild. So I'm a bracer now, huh? I think the realization is only now just beginning to sink in. Come on, Joshua. You should be jumping for joy or running around and screaming at the top of your lungs like this. Look at us now, world, we did it! I was happy until you made my eardrums bleed. I hate to interrupt the celebration, Estelle, but I need to take off now. I have some backed up work that needs my immediate attention. We understand. You have been spending a lot of extra hours working with us during this busy time for the guild. Before you head out, Shira, I just wanted to say thanks. Likewise, I appreciate all the trouble you've gone through for us, Shira. Don't mention it. Training new recruits is one of a bracer's main duties. Believe it or not, I was once in your shoes a long time ago when your father, Cassius, trained me. So that's why you have so much respect for my dad, huh? There is actually much more to it than that, but I'll save that conversation for another day. As for the both of you, work hard to become full-fledged bracers early on so you can help guide those new recruits who come after yourselves. And in time, I hope to see you both become respectable bracers like your father. Anyway, I'll leave you with that, though. Thought. Uh, I just don't get it. Get what? This is Charizard, a.k.a. the Silver Streak, one of the most skilled young bracers we've talked about. So why is it that she holds Dad in such high esteem? He just seems like nothing more than a no-good middle-aged man who is always out doing who knows what instead of being a father. A no-good middle-aged man, huh? From your viewpoint, it doesn't come as a surprise that you would see him in that fashion, huh? Never mind. Let's hurry up and head home. We should let Dad know that we qualified as Junior Bracers. Right. Alright, we passed the test. We are Junior Bracers. Uh, let's head home and uh, we will check these bulletin boards in this town and every other town as often as possible because some missions are uh, like on a limit and if you get past a certain point in the plot you will like bypass them and fail them and won't be able to finish them and we're going to try and do them all so uh, let's talk to you hi there Estelle and Joshua oh hi Ridge Ridge it looks like your training is over isn't it I'm humbled to know that you two are the youngest ever to pass the bracer exam I look forward to working with you in the same capacity ourselves as well. I have to get back to work now, but if there's something you don't understand, give me a holler. Let's look at the board. Can I? No. Can't look at it. Alright. Let's go and pick up our newspaper. We won't want to forget that. What's this kid doing? Hurry up and come on. Wait for me, Luke. Huh? Oh, it's you two. Oh, great, it's Estelle. Hi there, Joshua. Okay, you little twerp. What's with the, oh, great, it's Estelle remark? And what's the big hurry? How about telling us where you're headed? You're not thinking about wandering out of town alone, are you? The roads are full of monsters, I hope you know. Here, shut up, past Estelle. Don't you know there's no room for girls to be sticking their big fat noses in boys' business? Quit acting like you're a bracer, you wanna be. Tisk tisk. How wrong you are, Luke. How incredibly wrong. You're more wrong than a fool that thinks there's better tasting milk in liberal than the milk that comes from Prezel Farm. But no way. You're full of it, Estelle. In fact, as just of a few minutes ago, we qualified to become real bracers. 
Are you hearing what I'm saying? Real bracers. More like bracers than training, really. Don't think you should be getting on your high horse just yet, Estelle. Now a high pony, on the other hand. Quit being a killjoy. Wow, you two are great. I'm so happy for the both of you. Oh, Pat, you're such a good little boy. Unlike that smart aleck and cynical brat you call a friend. This isn't fair. I was supposed to become a bracer first. I can accept that Joshua became a bracer before me, but getting passed by the likes of Estelle... What's the likes of Estelle supposed to mean? Just so you know, you can't even be a bracer until you're 16 years old. Get it? Only mature people allowed. And that means no little kids who are still going to Sunday school. I don't know how I should put this Estelle, but Sunday school is dying to have you back. You better watch out, Estelle. I'm going to go train at my secret base, and before you know it, I'm going to be a bracer too. Come on, Pat, let's go. All right, I'm coming. See you later, Estelle. Bye, Joshua. That boy, Luke, he's always trying to pick a fight with me. I wonder if he just plain hates me or something. Rather, I think it's the exact opposite. What do you mean by that? Don't worry about it. It's just a boy thing. At any rate, what do you think Luke meant when he said secret base? I don't know why, but somehow it makes me a bit curious. I know exactly what you mean. A secret base sounds really intriguing. The pure heart of a young child can be so inspiring at times. That's not really what I meant by curious. Hmm, secret base. Well, we'll worry about that later. Let's uh, go back to the general goods store and get our newspaper. Hey there, Stella and Joshua. How can I help you? Did you manage to become bracers? You bet we did. Maybe I should have you start calling me Hyper Bracer Estelle from now on. By the way, Mr. Rendon, did the liberal news come in? Yeah, it came in a little afternoon. Don't brush me off like that, you two. Oh, whatever, I'll take one copy then. That comes to 100 mirror, please. I purchased liberal news. I know my dad always buys a copy of this magazine, but does it really sell that well? It sure does. The Little Bull News has an excellent reporter and camerawoman who have done a great job reporting the latest and most reliable news. They're even supposed to have a running story related to Queen Alicia's birthday celebration. One more thing before you go. This gift is my way of saying congratulations. It's a free sample item I received with my shipment of goods, but don't hold the free part against me. Received recipe book. What is this supposed to be for? There's a ton of blank pages. It's our recipe book, isn't it? You got it. When you get hurt fighting, if you just limit yourself to healing bombs all the time, it's gonna cut pretty deep into your wallet. This is where a recipe book comes into play. If you eat food to recover your strength instead, it's basically free. Assuming you have all the ingredients anyway. So if you eat something new, write down what's in it, and you'll have lots of recipes in no time. So how about we try this out? Go ahead and eat this cookie, Estelle. Received a maple cookie. Well, I have made it a personal rule to never turn down sweets. I ate the maple cookie. Learn maple cookie recipe. Basically, all you have to do is eat the food to learn the recipe. It's as simple as that. As you're traveling about, you should eat whatever food you come across that you haven't had an, an opportunity to try before. Well, that sounds pretty convenient. Um, it's not that I don't like cooking and all. It's just that I never seem to get any better. I'd sure love to be able to increase my repertoire and really shock my dad's taste buds for once in my life. That's the spirit. And in passing, if you're in need of any ingredients, I'd be delighted to service your cooking needs. You really know how to solicit your customers, Ristorinen. Thank you for the recipe book. We'll put it to good use. Eating the recommended dish 
at restaurants or using to-go meals as re the recipes to the recipe book. By selecting the recipe book, all learned recipes will be displayed. As long as the necessary ingredients are available, the food can be made. There are two types of food, sit-down meals, which must be eaten on the spot, and to-go meals, which can be carried as items. Sit-down meals cannot be carried as items. Ingredients used for cooking can be bought at stores or acquired from monsters. Oh, I wish it was that simple in real life. You eat something and you learn how to make it.